So I am prepping wine bottles for my next uh, wine bottle wall. I think I posted some pictures of the wall that I tested, the single wall I did last year um, and tested. Let's see if I can reverse this so you can see it. No, nope, that's a picture. Well, it's not letting me. I will post a short video of the one wall that I did um, last year to test out the wine bottles. And so what I learned with living up here at 9,300 feet elevation is obviously it gets really windy. So the wine bottles that I did on the other wall were um, all different kinds. And so they're all different shapes and sizes and it was really hard to keep them all together and um, in place and to stay in place especially with the winds so what I'm doing now is the big wall I'm going to do um, all similar size bottles on one row so I've I haven't counted but I will count how many I have already um, peeled labels off of and uh, this is obviously the most painstaking process of trying to build these walls is number one, collecting all of these bottles, and I've been doing it for about eight years, um, but also getting these labels off. So what I have is I've just got two tubs that I've had sitting out um, for quite a while now, um, and just rotate the bottles out as I peel labels off, um, and it's actually just all rainwater that it's collected in that's it's soaking in. I have in the past used um, baking soda in the water and that helps get um, the adhesive off. But as you can see, like with this bottle, this one um, <laughs> literally comes right off. Um, the label comes right off. You don't have to really use a lot of tools um, to get the extra adhesive off. I have found that this little uh, plastic door shim seems to work the easiest without you know scratching the bottles um, and it gets along and we just scrape off the extra um, adhesive and it pretty much comes right off of it so that is one of the easy ones the ones that are not as easy tend to be um, it just depends on oh this is one of the easy ones too um, what kind of adhesive that they use on the labels. Um, sometimes they literally, they, you can have these in here for a few hours and soaking and they peel right off, which is great. Um, that's not the case with the majority of them though. So unfortunately, some of them take a lot longer to come off. Um, with some of these tops, they are um, aluminum and to, the way to get those off is just, I use a pair of pliers and snip the, snip the top of it and then proceed to just kind of peel it off like I'm opening up a can. I don't know if you can see that very well. Um, don't grip it too hard and then once it kind of starts getting loose, you can usually just wiggle it right off of the top, which is great. It doesn't take too uh, terribly long and that is a beautiful piece of funnel there. Some of the other ones, let's see if I can find one that is definitely not very easy for the labels to come off. I should know all of them by now. So this one, you can see the top layer comes off okay, but the adhesive underneath sometimes doesn't. This one has been soaking for long enough, but that one came off well too. Let's see if I get the recording going and they actually work well but I know I have some in here that I can show you that don't come off as easily so again pair of pliers these metal ones just gotta be careful because they always are sharp too so careful I guess you're peeling it and Enough, it pops right off. Grab another bottle here. All of these ones. Let's see if I can find one that doesn't come 
not this easily. <laughs> okay, so that one is a little bit easier to show. So what I do with this one then is the plastic shim and just scrape away the label. Let's see if I can find the right view there. Um, sometimes it takes one or two tries. You gotta throw it back in the water to soak for a little bit. There's sometimes there's just seems to be multiple layers of adhesive and paper label in it. It takes a little bit longer than the others, but this one was actually not too terrible. So again, just use the end of it and it scrapes off fairly well. And then sometimes I'll take it and throw it back in the water. Water out of it. Put it back in the water and scrape that off. And it's pretty, pretty much off of there. I think Gooby Gone or some of those other things, if you really wanted to get out every little bit of it off. I'm just anticipating once I get them up um, on the wine bottle wall, the sun and the elements will um, take care of the uh, excess adhesive and stuff on these on its own, and I'm not going to stress too much about it. could be because I've done so many of these now, I'm just kind of over it and want this to get to a point where I can actually start building the wall. So I'm really sick of peeling labels. Um, so I tended to be a little more lax on some of the adhesive that's left on these and just let it be and hope that the elements will take care of it once the wall is up. And uh, if it doesn't, then I can go back through eventually and just uh, leave some goo gone or something and get the last of the adhesive off. But um, that's pretty much it. I mean, it's tedious, <laughs> um, sometimes painful. I have pretty severe carpal tunnel in both of my wrists, so I have to take quite a few breaks to um, keep my wrists from just kind of locking up on me. So it's this weird, the repetitive motion of scraping the labels and stuff is really hard on my wrists. So um, yeah, it's just a very tedious process to Get all the labels off and get them to a place where it can be used for the wine bottle wall. And once I'm doing this, I'm now trying to organize them all by size and um, figure out how many I have. And if I really got my heart set on certain ones, like you know, pretty colors and whatever else, then I'm trying to seek out that same type bottle from other people and um, so I can have enough for each row since I'm now um, going to do the same size bottle. It doesn't necessarily have to be the same color obviously that would be kind of cool if it didn't um, but as long as the bottles are the same size um, diameter and um, same size height wise um, they should be able to go in the same row for the wine bottle wall. So that's the goal right now is to get enough of each size bottle to make a whole row of them. So I'm doing hundreds of these and I will do another video of the wall once I get started on the wall. Thanks for watching.